Hi, I'm Tiffany, uh, and today I'm going to be running through how to use Mintlify and Visual Studio Code to edit your docs. So I'm going to assume that you already have a Mintlify account, a GitHub account, and that you have Visual Studio Code installed for this tutorial. So first we'll open up Visual Studio Code here. I, used to, I usually like to have a terminal in the bottom view here so I can keep track of my commands and whatnot. The first thing you want to do is clone your repository or make sure that you are in the right Git branch. That can be a little bit confusing to know which one you're on um, and permissions, especially if you're cloning in for the first time. So if you're having trouble with running through that, uh, I would recommend actually walking through the steps with ChatGPT in general. It's usually as simple as doing git clone and then copying over whatever uh, yeah, copying over the repo from your docs instance. So it'd be usually as simple as that, and then that will bring you into um, your desired folder. I've already done that, so I'm not going to show that right now, but I will go ahead and see. Okay, um, my folder called docs where the repo is. Um, and so I'm gonna go into docs. And to double check that I am operating on the right things, um, you can also type in git status. So that means that I am up to date with whatever the main branches in our central repository. Also, in general, you don't want to commit to the main branch for Git. Uh, you always want to create a new branch just as hygiene. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new branch on my local machine, which is um, I'll do git checkout um, Tiffany demo. So now uh, you can see that I am now on a branch called Tiffany demo. So I can go ahead and make changes and it's not going to uh, be a committing or affecting the main branch. From here, I can go in and see, okay, what files do I want to change? So I just opened up the file for a quick start and let's say that I want to change this title to be build modern documentation in under five minutes, something like that. From there, I'm going to save it. And let's say that I want to see what this looks like as a preview. I can actually run this on local development to see a live preview of what it would look like in Mintlify. To do that, you can go to our docs on local development and run this command in your terminal. So here you can see it's this command. So if I just copy this command, I've already run it, but we'll run it here. Um, if I run this command in my terminal, it's going to set up all the proper permissions and it's going to install. And if you run into any issues with like brew or um, it's giving you errors, again, ChatGPT is really good at helping walk through the packages you might need to install and etc. So in general, you should be able to install it right there. And then from there, all you have to do whenever uh, you're trying to see your docs and local preview is just type in Mintlify dev and it's going to pull up a local host preview of what your docs will look like. So you can see the changes I just made that says build modern documentation in five minutes just changed. And basically every time you make a change and then you save it, it's going to update in the local host. So I just deleted build and it just showed up right in the host. And then if you want to exit this local host, you can just hit control C and you'll be done. So let's say that we're done with the changes we wanted to make. Uh, you can run through these commands to push to Git. So you can just do git add period. That's going to add all the changes you made. Uh, and then git commit where let's say let's we changed the title and then git push origin um, of what uh, my branch name is. From there, you just need to go to GitHub and submit the pull request. And that's it.